Let's rise up on our feet and sing this song loud and clear from the bottom of our hearts. I was loved by Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. What is loving for? What is loving? I'm sorry. fire and thunder as many people as you utter this prayer 
will experience the touch of the God of Elijah. Where is the Lord God of Elijah? Arise! Empower me. <laughs> it's good for you to pray that prayer. Can I hear the sisters shouting loud and clear? Let the brothers roar like thunder. Everybody together now. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and ask for the power. But sent a catella kayaba. Ribosopola kayabo shenteraba. Empower me. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, we thank you for a wonderful morning like this. And we praise your name because you are our rock, you are our shield. We thank you because there is none like unto you. Accept our thanks in Jesus' name. This morning, let there be no one present here who will go home with a plastic experience. Touch your people by your power. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Louder, amen. amen. Let's have a seat. God bless you. The power of adamant faith. The power of adamant faith. Sisters, what did I say this morning? Is that the loudest the sisters can say it? How about, how about brothers? Good. The Bible tells us that faith is the substance of things hoped for. The assurance of things we hope for. A confident assurance that that thing which we hope for will come to pass. And is the evidence of things not seen. In Daniel chapter 3, we see three young men who gave us a small sample of what is meant by adamant faith it is good for you to listen to me carefully this morning because this message may save your life one day the power of adamant faith daniel chapter 3 i read from verse 14. daniel 3 verse 14. Daniel 3, verse 14. Nebuchadnezzar spake and said unto them, Is it true, O Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, do not ye serve my gods, nor worship the golden image you have set up? And in verse 16, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered and said to the king, O Nebuchadnezzar, we are not careful to answer thee in this matter. If it be so, our God, whom we serve, is able to deliver us from the burning fiery furnace. And he will deliver us out of thy hand, O king. They were talking to the king like that. This man was the president of the whole world. There has never been a government or an empire like the empire of Nebuchadnezzar. He ruled the whole world. They say, sorry, sir. We don't have to think before we answer this question. Say, Our God will deliver us out of your hand. Verse 18. But if not, if that God decides that he will not, say, be it known unto thee, O king, that we will not serve thy God, nor worship the golden image which thou hast set up. That's why one of the most wonderful chorus that we sing, which I want you to sing louder than anyone around you now, is is a boom, 
is able to be to deliver and to save and to save hallelujah is able to be voice roaring like thunder is is heaven hallelujah is able to to deliver and to save and to save hallelujah is able to trust a very powerful song indeed say our God whom we serve is able to deliver us say my God whom I serve is able to deliver me this is adamant faith if I perish I perish throw us in we will rather burn than bow is able to deliver us even if he says he will not deliver us we still will not bow that is adamant faith will to God that we have that kind of faith today and our life will be one constant cascade of testimonies in Matthew chapter 17 verse 20 Matthew chapter 17 verse 20 Matthew 17 20 I say sister listen to this message now everyone your in-laws everyone has been laughing at you and they have been calling you names I have a word to you from the Lord they are coming to plan your celebration I don't know who the sister is in Matthew chapter 17 verse 20 Matthew 17 20 and Jesus said unto them because of your unbelief for verily I say unto you if ye have as a grain of mustard seed grain of mustard seed and those mustard seeds they are so small if you bring them close to your nose your breathing can clear them off the plate so if, but if you have faith as a grain of mustard seed he shall say unto this mountain remove ends to yonder place and it shall remove and nothing shall be impossible unto you Jesus was talking here about the quality of faith not quantity Jesus was not talking about faith as large as a grain of mustard seed no faith is not measured by sight or size you can't see the faith that shakes mountains you can't see it with your natural eye like an atom it is invisible invisible but powerful it will blow up every mountain and win every battle the mustard seed was the smallest of all seeds but when it comes up it will refuse to be discouraged it will keep trying regardless of what happened if a rock smash it to the ground it will keep trying it will keep growing if it was covered up it will keep growing it will never get discouraged if you put it in the winter which is very cold you may think it's dead but no after the cold is over it will show up again you could cut it down cover it up freeze it to the natural heights as if the mustard seed is gone but all of a sudden when it growing around the problem Jesus again was talking to us about adamant faith man says 
seeing is believing. God says, believing is seeing. It's when you believe, you will see. Say, if thou shalt believe, thou shalt see the glory of God. Our work is to cast our care upon God. God's work is to take care of that care. Faith is a person stepping out into the unknown, obeying God's command. And if you are a man of faith, that faith will keep you. Faith is like muscle. Prayer is the exercise that helps it to grow. Faith is to believe what we do not see. And the reward of faith is to see what we believe. Faith is a simple confidence that God is and he will do what he has promised. If as I stand there now, I write a check, 200,000, and I give it to somebody here, without doubting, he will say, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. That is, he believed that that check will soon become money. That's why when we pray, we say, thank you, Lord. Because we know that that will soon become money. Faith is not only believing that God can do certain things. It is knowing that he will. Those men said the God whom we serve is able. That's why I know that any impossible situation facing anyone here shall bow to the power of God. In the name of Jesus. So faith is a holy decision. Married to a violent determination. Married to a violent determination. The business of faith is to believe things that are out of sight. That's why faith and fear cannot live together. Doubt will ask question, can God do this? Faith will say, God can. That's why when you feed your faith, it will become stronger and, it, and then it will starve your doubt to death. Because faith sometimes does not make sense. Faith shines brightest in childlike hearts. He said, out of the mouth of babes and suckling, thou hast ordained strength. There is an urgent cry these days. Listen to me carefully. There is an urgent cry these days for Christians to change their sit-down and look attitude. There is an urgent need these days for believers to change their sit-down and look attitude in prayers. We pray for God to make situations better. And if we don't see a change immediately, we throw up our hand and say, I, I give up. This is unlike our master, Jesus. Many of us, unfortunately, we have not followed Jesus into the upper room. We have followed Jesus into the bakery to receive bread. But many of us have not really followed him into the upper room. Jesus spent long, long nights in prayer. We do not spend long nights in prayer. Some hate night VG. Even uh, night VG, 31st, some people will be sleeping. In practically every night VG, you see some people sleeping. And they will claim, I don't know, things are sluggish, things are slow. Jesus spent long nights in prayer. We do not. That's part of the reason why the midnight battle was released so that people can stay awake and pray. We need it more than at any other time. There is power in the night prayers. Jesus, when he was around, aggressively confronted demons. Many of us are afraid when it comes to the demonic. Some are so scared when it comes to that. God forbid if somebody gets to the place of work tomorrow and you find a pot of sacrifice uh, on the door and you find bones and bones of human beings there the person will probably start screaming and he's a christian he went to church yesterday jesus aggressively confronted these evil powers many of us are afraid it was 1995 i was preaching here it was this auditorium a we call one prayer point and after the prayer point there was a scream at the back there. Somebody shouted, 
I came to drink blood. When the people around that person had, I came to drink blood. The speed with which they scattered away from that place. You can see fear. Fear. You are in the house of God, you are afraid that somebody may, resist, may drink your blood inside the place. But Jesus was not so. Our weakness is terrible. And our fear is terrible. Jesus resisted temptation to the point of exhaustion. But we fold our hands. Say, I don't know what came over me. Something just happened like that. I don't know. I don't know what I was doing. Something just came over me. Jesus blasted money changers and threw their tables away. But we allow evil to thrive around us. Jesus sweated blood, blood, in one agonizing night in the Garden of Gethsemane. But we sleep and slumber and then claim that there is no breakthrough. Say, I don't. I didn't get admission to the university. How? Any night prayers do you do to break the strong man of your father's house who has closed the door of the university against you? Jesus insisted that mantis must move. Present day believers sometimes sit down and say, What's gonna be is gonna be. What goes up must come down. What's gonna be is gonna be. There's nothing you can do about it. Jesus insisted that the mantis must move. Jesus insisted that faith must be risky. What we want to see before we believe. Jesus insisted that prayers must be persistent. Persistent. We give up easily after some feeble efforts. Jesus did not put up with unholy trespassers. We are busy rubbing shoulders with witches and wizards. Some even, some men who are so blind are even sleeping with witches and wizards claiming that they have girlfriend rubbing shoulders with witches and wizards claiming that you are coming to Martin of listen to me really good beloved there is a kind of faith that refuses to back down not a faith that is afraid of demonic powers I look back this morning at the first church that I pastored I remember those days when we are praying in our church we are praying like this if you are demonic you are a witch you are a wizard you cannot pass by the side of that church at that time if you pass it's as if the ground is filled with electric wire the person will have electric shock although there is no nepa wire but the force and power of the prayer if you pass by but if you are clean you can pass by we allow evil to try the kind of power that god wants us to pack is a kind of power that if witches fly over your roof at night they drop down and die somebody comes to put a pot of sacrifices at the top of your company the person will be electrified there somebody is calling your face in the, on, the, on, on an evil mirror the mirror should explode on his face that is how God wants us to be. But we are not like that. And that's why we are here this morning. Enough is enough of this just sit down and look at it. Enough is enough of evil roaming around us and boasting around us. Enough is enough of the righteous being trodden on the floor and the wicked being raised up. A closed mouth is a closed destiny. There is a kind of faith that refuses to back down. There is a kind of faith that refuses to give up. This kind of faith is allowed in scripture. This kind of faith is honored in scripture. This kind of faith is rewarded in scripture. This kind of faith is celebrated in scripture. This kind of faith is adjourned for believers in scripture. This kind of faith is expected of Christians in scripture. There is nowhere in the Bible. I say it again. There is nowhere in the Bible where we are advised to accept anything the devil dishes out to us. There is nowhere in scripture where we are instructed to be dumb marks for the enemy to be trampled upon us. 
There is nowhere in scripture where we are exhorted to tolerate insults by the powers of darkness. There is no biblical injunction forbidding us to stand firm in the face of enemies' ridicule and destructions. It was 1977. Listen to me carefully. I was in my room, in a small room. I prayed before sleeping. 1 a.m. A voice came and the voice stormed into my room. It was like the voice of a rolling thunder. But at the same time, it was a pleasurable voice. And it called my name. And it began to talk. I was scared. I've never heard such voice before. They didn't teach us how to hear the voice of God in our church. We knew more about dancing. We knew more about harvest and bazaars. Not how to hear God talk. The voice came. I jumped up from my bed. Opened the door. I looked out. Nobody. I went to the back of the room. Nobody. I was puzzled. And I decided to go back to the bed. And then I heard the voice of the Holy Spirit. I said, son, son, remember Samuel. When I heard that, and I went back to the bed, the voice came again like before. And that was the first time the prophecy about mountain of fire and miracles mystery began to come out. There are many things God has spoken about this ministry, mountain of fire. God has a covenant with the mountain of fire and miracles ministry. This person talking to you here is the only one who knows those covenants. Sometimes I share a few things there out of that covenant. For example, part of that covenant is this. Any minister who serves God faithfully in mountain of fire will be blessed. He doesn't have to steal God's money. He will be blessed at the same time. Any minister of God who does his work in a terrible manner, a mountain of fire, or you try to defraud the mountain of fire, the covenant of mountain of fire says that God will treat that person like a rag. The covenant of God for mountain of fire and miracles ministry has zero tolerance for any power harassing his members. So any native doctor who wants to die does not need to drink poison. Just let him begin to harass an MFM person. And he will begin to write his own obituary. Any organization, structure, human being, personality, force, harassing any member of the Mountain of Fire America's ministry, just writing his own obituary. Because by the covenant that set up the ministry, the God of Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministry has zero tolerance to any power harassing his members. I'm sharing with you part of the secret of this ministry. I don't want to go into examples of those who made the mistake of confronting Mountain of Fire. I was sharing one at Press City. A member of this ministry bought a large piece of land somewhere. She traveled to Canada. She was there for a few years. By the time she came back, she found that one king had taken over the land, he's building a house there, and he surrounded the place with soldiers. So madam went there. I said, this is my document. This land belongs to me. You have no right to be, to be here. They said, madam, if you don't get away from her, we shall deal with you, we shall shoot you, we shall do this, we shall do that. But one of them told his colleagues, look at the handbag of this woman. There is a logo on that handbag. See, that logo belongs to the mountain of fire. See, we have to be very careful here. They didn't answer. So all madam did was to go there next day and just emptied one bottle of anointing oil on the ground before their workers arrived. The first three workers who got into that land, they just fell down and died there. By the time the others came, they ran like no man's business. Nobody came back to that land. So if you are a member of this ministry, be rest assured, and you are listening to the messages or you are following them, you are practicing your holiness within and without, and you are praying the prayers, any power, personality, organization, structure, that has made the mistake of gathering against you, 
shall be scattered unto desolation. Thank you for saying amen. But even if you didn't say amen, it is the covenant that set up the place. Amen. Praise the Lord. So mark my words now. And the God of understanding will open your understanding. So if you come here, there is nothing to fear. There may be revival and crusade of the enemy. But when the God of mountain of fire begins to crusade against them, one crusade shall swallow another crusade. Just like the serpent of Moses swallowed the serpent of Pharaoh. I see somebody here this morning. The serpent and scorpion assigned against you shall attack themselves. They 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 shall attack themselves. In the name of Jesus. Let a human rule like thunder. We have taken things so easy. In that my first church, we used to go out to look for trouble. We start pointing at houses of occultic people, pointing at their shrine, and commanding the place to dry up. They dry up too. Because that's our command. There is a lot of biblical support for this kind of adamant faith position. Blind Bartimaeus kept shouting loudly. Is shouting annoyed the disciples and they said shut up shut up but when jesus said bring him they now faced him i said cheer up is calling you i pray for somebody here today your enemy shall announce your glory your enemy shall announce your glory they 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 shall announce your glory in the name of jesus the same mouth that told Jacob that Joseph was dead were the same mouth that announced back to Jacob the breakthrough of Joseph those who told Bratimus to shut up were those who announced his glory why? adamant faith adamant faith adamant faith those who want you out of the way, they shall announce your celebration. That Syrophoenician woman was shouting to the point of annoying the disciples. But Jesus considered her faith to be exemplary. David arrived at that war front and was enraged at a giant who blasphemed God. And God rewarded David extravagantly. Adaman faith always has reward. Elijah was angry with Israel. Because the Israelites were bound down to Baal. Elijah declared a showdown. Elijah was vastly outnumbered, but God showed up in a big way. He doesn't worry a fox how many sheep are gathered. They will scatter. Hey, but there they, they are many. They are strong. Those who go from that town, those who go from that city, they are strong, good. they are powerful, magic power. <laughs> powerful magic power. They say a student is dull. You say the handwriting is good. <laughs> what what would the handwriting do during the exam when he's writing rubbish? And there are many. They have juju. All the juju they've gathered together. A teenager, a teenager can render it useless. Just like David strolled into that war front and embarrassed and disgraced Goliath. There is somebody here. You shall disgrace your Goliath. You shall disgrace your Goliath. You shall disgrace your Goliath. They shall disgrace your Goliath. You shall disgrace your Goliath. In the name of Jesus. The enemy may win a few battles, but they will not win the war. The Bible says they shall fight against you, but they shall not prevail. Say they shall fight against you, they shall not prevail. And this is a very, very 
important point. There is nothing wrong in banging on the doors of heaven until you receive answer. There is nothing wrong in pestering the judge for action. We are allowed to resist. We are allowed to attack. We are allowed to restrain. We are allowed to continue refusing evil from coming upon us. From Genesis to Revelation, Adam and faith is always honored. And hatred for evil is always celebrated. As children of God, we are not wrong to share God's anger. In fact, it's an honor to share God's anger. The psalmist says, I hate them that hate the Lord. I hate them with perfect hatred. Nobody honors heroes who run away from the enemy. We don't even call them heroes. We call them cowards. But we honor those who take a stand and we not back down even if they die in the process. We serve a warrior God. So we cannot pray only once or twice and then let the matter drop like that. God said the battle is mine, not yours. And when the, God says the battle is his, doesn't mean there will be no battle. Say, but the battle is mine. We need holy stubbornness. Holy desperation. Adamant faith. Violent faith. Adamant faith is persistent, bold, non-compromising faith. Those who risked embarrassment and humiliation for blessings of Jesus were always rewarded. Those people like Bartimaeus and that, and that the woman with the issue of blood, they risk embarrassment, they risk humiliation. But those who politely dined with Jesus as colleagues, they were not rewarded. Dignified, respectable, sophisticated, civilized faith that does not get his hands dirty was never rewarded. Adam and faith will see the tragedy of injustice and the captivity of the lost and the ravages of the enemy and say, no. No. Adam and faith does not comply. He does not tolerate or settle for an agreement. Adam and faith requires that you make effort to cross any barrier standing your way. Adam and faith is desperate faith. It is persistent faith. It is faith that looks at what you are becoming, not what your size is now. It's the faith that sees that there is nothing beyond your ability. Adam and faith cannot be threatened or intimidated by the world. Adam and faith understands that God is an awesome and mighty God. Adam and faith is not moved by the mountains. It's filled with holy expectancy. Adam and faith is deaf to doubt, dumb to discouragement, blind to impossibility. He knows nothing but success in God. Adam and faith celebrates victory before he even starts the battle. It is non negotiable. Close your eyes. Say this loud and clear My benefits, My benefits. in the water, in the, water. In the earth. In the heavens. Can you say that loud and clear? Is that the loudest you can say it? Hear the word of the Lord. Locate me now. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and decree that one right now. Yes. Something is happening here this morning. In Jesus name we pray. Adam and faith is non-negotiable faith. It reaches above circumstances prepared by the enemy. The logic of Adam and faith is not from the earth, it's from heaven. Adam and faith breaks through by looking for God instead of looking at negative circumstances. 
Adam and face smiles when the stormy sea is sinking the boat. <laughs> Adam and face disgraces huge diabolical kingdoms. Adam and face acts with holy madness. Holy madness. When we talk about holy madness, holy madness, we believe unusual things and believe abnormal things. Holy madness will take risk and damn the consequences. Holy madness is immune to mockery. Holy madness will be speaking strange things to strange things. Jesus spoke to the fig tree. Jesus spoke to fever. Jesus spoke to storms. Holy madness attacks what people cannot see. When the faith is adamant, it exercises holy violence. And when that holy violence comes, engineered by holy madness, things begin to happen. What do you do to exhibit this kind of faith? The first thing, you must surrender your life to Jesus. That is not negotiable. Second thing, you must repent from every known sin. That too is not negotiable. Three, you must get inside the word of God. Get inside your Bible. Read it. Digest it. Four. You must pray revelational prayer. Prayer that will reveal things to you. When you want to begin to exercise adamant faith. When you pray revelational prayer, you really now understand what you are fighting against. The power of adamant faith. The power of Adam and faith. Then fifth, you pray different kinds of prayers. Different kinds of prayers. And lastly, you develop your faith in God. After the order of the Hebrew children. The God whom we serve. Is able to deliver us. From your hand. And from the fiery furnace. The Bible says, open wide your mouth and I will feel it. It means pray big prayers. Pray impossible prayers. Pray the kind of prayers that when your friend sees you, they just open their mouth in wonder and wonder how did you do it? Pray bold prayers. Let demons and practitioners of darkness be terrified with your prayers. A man came to a crusade and he had juju in his pocket. He had some magical thing in the pocket which he wanted to go and throw at the man of God. He was at the back. So he started organizing himself to the front as if uh, he was dancing. You know that kind of foolish Yoruba dancing they roll around in parties. And that's how the man found his way close to the altar. It was at that time the man of God said there is somebody here. You have something in your pocket that you want to come and use here. Before I count seven, come and drop it at the altar here or you keep it forever. The man did not respond. He was still there. Calculating the time he would throw this in. His hand was in the pocket. So when the man said, oh, close your eyes, let us pray. That was the time he was waiting for. He tried to bring the thing out of the pocket his hand was stuck in the pocket he could not remove the hand from the juju he could not bring it out the hand had become like wood the left hand was working normally but the one touching the juju has glued to the juju and it's not coming out of the pocket his first reaction was to try to run away but he was an intelligent fellow he said if i run away from here this hand may remain in the pocket forever because the man said, keep it forever. He said, I better report myself to them. So he came to the front and said, Pastor, Pastor. And the, 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 the interpreter and the other people helping the minister, they shouted at him. Sir, don't you have respect? You are talking to a man of God with your hand in your pocket. Bring out your hand. What do you mean? This is insolence. The man said, I want to bring out the hand, but it's not coming out. I said, what happened? And I told them. They now brought him to the stage. They said, everybody look at this man. Oh, 
His hand is in his pocket. He cannot bring it out. He asked you there. Let us help him. Let's point at him that God should forgive him so that his hand can be restored. They started praying congressional prayer for him. Most of those who were praying were laughing. They were laughing at him. That is supposed to be our position. To love our enemies to scorn. Elijah mocked the prophets of Baal. In the face of that terrible warfare at Mount Carmel. Was laughing at them. Call him harder. Is he asleep? Wake him up. Has he traveled? You mock them. You shall mock your enemies. 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 In the name of Jesus. Rise up on your feet like a soldier now. Rise up on your feet like a soldier. Rise up on your feet like a soldier. All eyes closed. All eyes closed. With adamant faith. And with a faith that shows no respect to any power. It is that way I want you to pray now. I don't want you to negotiate any prayer here today. All eyes closed. But if you are here and you are not born again. You have not surrendered your life to Jesus. Whatever you are. Just raise up your right hand. Let me pray with you. Thank you. Raise up your right hand. Say what I'm going to say after me. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you now. Lord Jesus, come into my life. Take control of my life. In Jesus' name. Amen. If you said that short prayer with me, immediately we close. Let's find a way to the altar here. The prayers of this morning shall send catastrophe to the camp of your enemies. To the camp of the enemies of mountain of fire. To the enemies of your family. To those who do not want you to enjoy your benefits. And to those who are attacking your children. Get yourself ready. Immediately we begin to pray now. There will be anger from the bottom of L5. Because certain things that have been hiding in many lives for years will begin to jump out. That power holding the scrotum of that brother shall release the scrotum. That strange movement under your arm, under your breast shall cease. This thing that is blowing evil breeze to you and you are smelling death shall be cancelled. And the powers showing you coffins shall enter into the coffins themselves. Not only that, witchcraft sponsored infirmity will begin to jump out. And they'll be going back to their senders. And that long standing yoke that has kept you behind shall be broken to pieces and the organization of disgrace fashioned against you shall be completely disgraced i want you to understand this very well say this loud and clear let your voice roar like thunder you say whoa and to every mountain assigned against my destiny in the name of Jesus. War unto every mountain. A sign against my life. Mosetaka. Ribala. Kandara. Boshenteraba. Thou power of God, in the name of Jesus, speak war unto the mountains, 
Speak war unto the mountains. Masakaya Boshende Rabakata. In Jesus' name we pray. Silence. There are 12 persons in this service. I see clinical prophecy against your life. That clinical prophecy has been cancelled now. That's the first person. That's number two. That's number three. That's number four. That's number five. That's number six. That's number seven. That's number eight. Number nine. Number ten. Eleven. And number twelve. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. There's a woman here. They cut off your fallopian tube. Right there where you are. The hand of fire is upon that womb. And something strange is happening to you. A new one has come into position. That's right. This second prayer. <laughs> I want you to pray it in a way that the enemy will know that they have made a mistake by even putting your name on the agenda. Hmm. Yes. Covum powers. Discussing my life. Catch fire. In the name of Jesus. That's right. Baseta Kandia. Reabala Katende Kayabo Shente Raba. Aha, 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 aha. Something must happen in your life here today. That's why Jesus brought you here. Aha, 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 aha. Botende Kayabo Shente. Reabala Katende Rabo Shente. Name we pray. Where is the Lord God of Elijah? Allah! Scatter every power assigned to disgrace me. Can I hear you shouting that loud and clear? Let your voice roar like thunder. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and declare it. Something is happening here. Bakate satela kaya boshanda, ribo sopola kaya boshente la bakaya ba, bakatanda rabo sopola bakaya bosha. Today is today. That's right. In Jesus' name we pray. Somebody's over there. Somebody actually followed you here with an evil power. 
to steal from you right there where you are the hand of god is coming upon you and the yoke of the follow follow power is broken to pieces yes before next sunday somebody here will receive the testimony of uncommon promotion now we have three bulldozing prayers three bulldozing prayers the yoruba says and is any naughty plants preventing the elephant from climbing the elephant will scatter everything three bulldozing prayers if you know that roads have closed before you or roads are closing pray this prayer with reckless abandon if you pray them and lose your voice and the roads are open your voice will come back power of satanic delay you are a liar! Yeah! In the name of Jesus. That's right. Power of satanic delay. You are a liar. Dad. In the name of Jesus. Possete katanda kaya boshenda. Ria poli katanda sanda. Yes, 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 yes. Deal with the satanic delay. That's right. In Jesus' name we pray. That's wonderful. See what is happening now. That's right. So powers frustrating my efforts. Can I hear you shouting that loud and clear? What are you waiting for? Yeah! In the name of Jesus. How I'm frustrating my efforts. I refuse to be frustrated. But then the Kaya Boshente Raboko Laba. The Raboko Ponde Kaya Boshente. Aha, 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 aha. Yes, 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 yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Uh -huh. This is wonderful. Now with your voice running like fire. Say, so where is the Lord God of Elijah? Move me forward in the name of Jesus. Oh, yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Pick any song of praises now and sing it loud and clear. The King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. What a mighty God we serve. Glorious in holiness, faithful in praises, and doing wonders. Makatonda Rabo Shendera Basa.
thank you Jesus Sekaya Boshendera Bokotanda Raba Ribala Kapola Katanda Amen. Sing this song to celebrate the victory you have this morning. Thank you, Jesus, the owner of my soul. Alpha Omega, you are worthy to be praised in all generations. There is no one like you. Alpha Omega, you are worthy to be. Thank you, thank you, Jesus. The honor of my soul. Oh, yeah. Alpha Omega, you are worthy to be praised in all generations. There is no one. Oh, yeah. Alpha Omega, you are worthy to be praised. Thank you, thank you, Jesus. Oh, yeah. Oh yes, Alpha Omega, you are Thank you, thank you, Jesus, the honor of my soul. Oh yes, Alpha Omega, you are worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. There is no one like you. Oh yeah. Alpha Omega, you are worthy to be praised. Angels are singing. You are worthy, oh Lord. You are worthy, Lord. You are worthy, oh Lord. Angels are singing. You are worthy, Lord. You are worthy, Lord. Yes, I sing it. Yes, I sing it. Yes, I sing it. Yes, I sing it. We thank you, Lord. 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 Thank you, Jehovah. Oh, Sing it loud and clear. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Jehovah Almighty. Oh, yes. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Jehovah Almighty. Madhuni le na si ebu be ebu be Jehovah. Marama, 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 Glory to the Lord, He reigns. We give glory to the Lord, He reigns. He reigns, He reigns, He reigns. We give glory to the Lord, He reigns. Adoration, adoration to the Lord, He reigns. Adoration to the Lord, He reigns. Hey, He reigns, He reigns, He reigns. Adoration to the Lord. Shout hallelujah. Amen. A louder amen. Stretch your right hand towards the altar here. And let your amen roar like thunder as I pray. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. Let all the hands stretch forward now. Become the hands of breakthrough. The hands of deliverance. The hands of prosperity. The hands of fire. 
the hands of power the hands of glory in the name of jesus the lord will bless you from zion and make his face to shine upon you every enemy of your life every enemy of this ministry every enemy of your family we scatter them unto desolation in the name of jesus let the power of god fall upon you thank you heavenly father lay that hand upon your head now and keep it there that head is the symbol of your destiny that's tried father make this week a week of blessings and favor a week of testimonies and power i cover all your children now with the blood of jesus in jesus mighty name we pray let us share the grace in fellowship.